Give it a little bit of a different look. Yep. Cheer about in four years' time. The countdown starting today. Jim Maseda, NBC News, London. Thanks to the Olympics, many Americans are seeing China for the very first time. But for one young woman, the pictures she brought back from her recent trip tell the story of her own beginning and what it means to be Chinese American. NBC Bay Area's Garvin Thomas has her story. I just kept hearing around the whole village, Rihanna, Rihanna, around the whole village. Leanna Kaler's ancestors were calling to her long before she returned to her family's homeland near Toizan in the Guangzhou province of China. It was like they were welcoming us home every time. Only it was a home Leanna had never seen, a family she'd never met, a place where her roots were planted, but in soil she'd never tasted. When Leanna got off the plane along with 12 other Bay Area youth from the In Search of Roots program, they were looking for something, but what? The picture was unclear. So I felt like this kind of blurry image really captured our emotional state at the time, that we weren't really sure, and the glass wasn't really clear yet. But as rain poured down, roots took hold, and before long, the skies cleared. I felt like I was looking up at the same sky that my ancestors looked up at, and that just made me feel like I was coming back to a home that I had never set foot in before. It had been 100 years since Leanna's family left China in search of a better life in the United States. And now, Leanna returned, searching for answers about who she is and where she came from. There is a Chinese proverb that said, when drinking water, remember its source. Like mangoes warming in the hot, dry sun, bright red chili peppers, and every single grain of rice. A constant reminder that everything and everyone has a beginning. And when Leanna stepped into an old home in her ancestor's village, there it was hanging on the wall, a photograph of her great grandparents. Leanna had found her source. All those fears I had and all those concerns I had about seeming like this random outsider just coming in, they were gone because my family never left. Physically, we had left, but emotionally and spiritually, we were still there. Still there, rooted in the ground like a sturdy old tree. In every village, there is one tree that people gather around to eat, play cards, and share stories. Something that, even today, still brings Leanna's family together. Even though we don't physically have this sort of tree anymore, we've still carried on that mentality. Even in spirit, there's a tree that everyone will gather at. A tree whose roots are so deep, they have crossed oceans, fought wars, and still endure. Even though my family has come from so many places to reach this, this life in San Francisco, those roots are still really strong and they don't, they don't separate. For Leanna, her roots have always given her life and strength and a place to return home to. Garvin Thomas. NBC 11 News. Meteorologist Rob Maeda.